Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. An electric cell converts chemical energy into electrical energy to produce electric current. In this video, we are going to learn about electric cell and battery with the help of a few experiment. Here I have salt water battery which is made by connecting six salt water cells in series. We know cells together form a battery. Now I will take one cell to show you the construction of an electric cell. Here this salt water cell consists of two electrodes. This one acts as anode and this one acts as cathode. The anode is made of a copper strip and the cathode is made of a aluminum foil strip. Both of them are immersed in electrolyte which is nothing but salt water. When this electric cell is connected to a circuit, electrons flow from cathode in the circuit towards anode and electric current flows in the opposite direction that is from anode to cathode. Now I will connect this to form a battery. Now I will connect the ends of this battery to an LED. This white crocodile clip is connected to positive terminal of this battery and a green crocodile clip is connected to negative terminal of this battery. I connect the positive terminal to anode of this LED and the negative terminal of the battery is connected to cathode of this LED. The moment I do so, you can observe it glows. This shows that this uh, battery could power an LED. Now I replace this LED with a buzzer, a piezo buzzer. I connect the terminals of battery to this piezo buzzer. The moment I connected, it emits out sound. This shows that this battery can power a piezo buzzer. Uh, here I have a digital watch. I removed the cell and the place of that I placed I have connected two wires. Now I am going to power this uh, digital watch using this uh, salt water battery. Let's check whether it can able to power this uh, watch or not. Surprisingly it can power the watch. You can see it shows time. Now I will measure the voltage and the current delivered by this salt water battery with the help of a multimeter. First, I will set the multimeter to read the voltage. I will connect the anode of the battery to red probe and, and cathode is connected to black probe. Now you can observe it shows 3 volt. The MF provided by this cell is 3 volt. Now I am going to measure 
the current produced by this battery. For that, I will set this uh, multimeter to read the current. Now, we know to measure current, we always connect the multimeter in series with the, the battery. I connect the anode of the battery to the anode of the LED then cathode that is negative terminal is connected to black probe of the multimeter then the cathode of the LED is connected to red probe the moment I do so it glow and it shows the current flowing through this LED it is nothing but 1 milliampere I will show you uh, one more salt water battery that I have made on this ice tray. Here I have taken copper strip and aluminum foil strip and I made around 11 salt water cells connected in series to form a battery. I will measure its voltage. Being a small battery, it produces a least voltage. Let me check. It produces around 0.4 volt. I hope this video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put your questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.